Welcome back. And this is going to be um, another holiday that um, cold weather drink because this one's going to be my favorite hot toddy, a hot buttered rum. So we're going to start with two cups um, of apple juice. I much prefer to use apple juice over using water. It gives it a much better flavor. So we're going to take two cups of apple juice and add it to a pot. Alrighty. Then we're going to take a half a stick, there, half a stick of butter, which is a quarter of a cup. And we're going to add that to our apple juice. And then we're going to take, oh, where is it? Oh, right here. A quarter of a cup of packed brown sugar. If you, I don't have any dark brown sugar, but if you do, that makes it even tastier with the more molasses flavor. But we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of our brown sugar. And then, whoops, I need my trusty stirrer. We're going to, let's see, this is the front, put some heat on that. And then we're also, this way the butter will start to melt. We're going to add some cinnamon. So we're going to do a teaspoon of cinnamon. Get some spices in there. Teaspoon of cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. So a quarter teaspoon the brown cloves, you don't want to go too strong on that because that's a very strong spice. And then ground, freshly ground, grated nutmeg. And we're going to do a half a teaspoon of the nutmeg. And I just freshly ground it just before I started with my handy nutmeg grinder. Come on, a little bit more nutmeg. There we go. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So we're going to, let's see, and I'm checking all my, oh, and salt. We need an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Checking my recipe on this one. So there's an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So everything is in the pot. So we're going to stir that up. And you want to get the butter all melted. And let's see, if I turn the light on there. Does that help? I don't know. So we're going to bring this to a boil and then simmer it for 10 minutes. So I'll come back after 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes simmering on the stove with an occasional whisking. Let's see, let me move this so you can actually see it. So now we're ready to add the final ingredient, a green ingredient, and I haven't even drank yet. I'm gonna turn the heat off, and then we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of dark rum. So you wanna, do that when you're finished cooking it so the alcohol doesn't all um, burn off. So here you go. Whisk it in. Grab your mug and a handy ladle and fill up that mug. Alrighty, hot buttered rum. I'm afraid to drink it because hot. Oh my God, this stuff is so good. Really good on a cold day or a cold evening. Here in Southern California, it's been pretty warm during the day, although I hear it's gonna get a little cooler, but at night it gets really chilly. So this is like perfect sitting around the fire. 
a little spice, the rum, the butter, and I really do like it with the apple juice. It gives it a much better richness to it. So I hope you enjoy the hot buttered rum.